I just want to get on here and say, listen, uh, a lot of these old heifers got a lot to say about me and what I do. And then, you know what? <laughs> I'm flattered. Keep talking about me. You ain't got shit else to do. You don't have nothing to do but to talk about me. And I'm flattered because I must be lit. <laughs> I must be lit. <laughs> I must be like ain't got nothing else to do and I'm just I'm flattered <laughs> flattered <laughs> what do you do with it ain't y'all this your girl says your craziness and I'm coming to you 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 and you with another word on the street segment make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video so baby Dr. Heavily and Carlos King done linked up together and it was talking about this whole first episode of Married to Medicine now that I got on TT, I like to call her Dr. G new wife. And Dr. Heavily just went in talking about the girl. She a pumpkin bumpkin. <laughs> she was um, she a pumpkin bumpkin. She a country bumpkin. Then said she look old. She only 31 or 32. Saying once she, you know, get in the mix of things and she level up, she gonna lead Dr. G. And talking about her body, how everybody body look better than hers. And then gonna talk about some you need to leave quad alone. Quad ain't what you want. But it's really you popping off at the mouth, Dr. Heavily. I don't think really quad said anything. But then you go tell us that she said she trying to get the demons up out of the house. Because quad was living, <laughs> living there previously. I'm like, oh my goodness, y'all just need to check this out. Sweet tea fits with this group? Absolutely not. However... Sweet T will benefit from this group and what Sweet T is, is in this group and we see and we get this country bunking together, she's not going to want Dr. G anymore. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got this girl. Okay. She say she 31, 32 now. She look older than Toya, in my opinion, Toya. You know what I'm saying? Toya is gorgeous. Toya is 47. And this girl look, they look the same. This girl is country. She's all, you know what I mean? Just, she just gives like her great grandmama raised her, right? I.e. she marries a man that's 23 years her senior, right? And then she brings it up like, to me, I think she's thirsty in, in the way I'm saying thirsty. But the interesting thing is she putting stuff out there only to dig her own grave. And I feel sorry for her. And what would you say about the girl saying she was there for the money? She said, this look good. This look good. Well, well, first of all, was that her accent? Yes. Oh, no. She's a country bunkin. That's who she is. Nah, I ain't taking nothing away from her. How country is she? Does she what? Because, you know, is she wearing, like, fishnet stockings? Does she wear a slip? Like, what? Yeah, all of, that, all of that. And the thing about it is Phaedra's hilarious. If Phaedra compliments you on your outfit, you need to go home and change. You need to go home and change. Because she always, girl, look at you. Ooh, girl, you got that nasty wrap dress, and it looks a mess. And, it, and you know, I'm not talking about the girl. Dr. Hibley, are you serious? Girl. You just said she her body ain't looking right. She gonna lead Dr. G. She a country bumpkin. Like, what? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Did y'all hear the same thing I heard? Continue. Because she, you know, she gonna retaliate. But uh, And she showed it, but we gonna get to that later. Her body look like a 67-year-old. You see what I'm saying? Like, she, like, Kwai got body. Toya got body. Everybody got body. Her body look, I'm not body shaming, I'm just saying that Phaedra is, need to be ashamed of her damn self, but it's she do. The reason I invited Sweet Tea to get on this show is because when I met her, I thought, honestly, I'm just be honest with you, Carlos, you getting it out of me. I thought, listen, this girl gonna be hilarious, because if she come up against Quad, Quad finna eat this alive, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't believe and she talks she talks about quad. Like, oh yes. She did a whole vlog about how she had to get the demons out of her house after quad left. And that's why I posted quad's house. Like you do not know who you with. You don't know. Like sweetie, slow down. Learn the way. Quad ain't what you want in this. No ma'am. It's not what you want or what you need. So I don't know how strong she is because when I see her, 
she seems like this sensitive little girl, like that's ready to cry. And I'm thinking like, girl, you started all this shit. You talking cash. And then you come back to me heavenly. I feel, I feel betrayed by you. I thought you were my friend. And I, you know, I'm for the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm for the streets. And y'all know this. Like, however, at the end of the day, I'm Team Quad. I said it, and I'm going to continue to say it. I'm Team Quad. But Toya takes her under her wing to come at Quad. Sweet T, I'm going to tell you here and now, and I know you watch all my... <laughs> me and Quad alone. Play with me. I'm not going to go there with you. Leave Quad alone. She's not what you want or what you need. She's not. Leave alone. Play with me. But leave Quad alone. But you were just kicking with the girl on the live not too long ago. And she, you know, basically put you on blast that you ignored Quad's phone call. Shy, I can't. But that, you heard it straight from the um, horse's mouth. Dr. Heavily said she for the streets. She ain't for nobody. Anybody that she feels she want to be, that's who she going to be with. So, it is what it is. But y'all take a listen at what Miss TT had to say about this. Because she had time this morning. When I tell you she had time, she had time. I think she went live about four or five times. I'm trying to sit here and get this footage, girl. But y'all check it out. Let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next one. Because I've been seeing clips here and there. And, I mean, I think that you get what you put out. And we just going to wait on it. That's what I think about the the interview. It just is is it was very sad to watch. I mean, I just got to pray for people. That's all. It's just very sad. It's very sad. I just got to pray for people. It's like, man, like you might as well have my cat in your mouth. I'm just saying. Might as well. Like you losing sleep over this, huh? While I'm eating good. While I'm living good. Baby, you mad? You hurt? Ooh, you hurt? What? I cussed you out. I called you, cussed you out. Oh, you mad? You was hurt by that? Who give a f Like, you know, I have a bubbly personality. I don't like anybody to disturb me and disturb my peace because that is very important to me. That's how I keep it all together. And I laugh at stuff. I laugh. Greg feels like you're going to leave him for quad. Did, did he has show strength in your relationship? I would say yes. Um, being, I mean, Gregory has his feelings you know being on the show he does have some type of feelings like he enjoyed it he just didn't enjoy it with who he was with and that's how he explained it to me and you guys have to talk to Gregory about that um I don't think that she's happy I don't think she's happy if she sits around in her closet like the boogeyman and talking about other people like where I mean where I mean you got multiple jobs and you have time to get on YouTube I mean where is your husband go tend to him Okay, you talk about being submissive and then you find a woman that's finally being submissive to her husband and doing things and then all of a sudden it's still a problem. Like you just, you gonna complain just to complain. Like girl, go be with your husband. Go do something. You, If you have all these jobs, like, and then you still have time to get on YouTube and then you over here educating women and all that. Like who the f*** wanna go to Dr. Helen University? You talking about I gotta take care of the kids, take care of my husband, I gotta cook and clean plus i gotta work i gotta also gotta work multiple jobs and also manage all the money like who the want to sign up for that <laughs> like like just just being you like do you do you don't worry about me stay over there don't worry about me how do you feel about people comparing your your youtube quad and looks and body there's no comparison god made me the way he made me god made her the way he made her and there's no comparison like to me is first of all we were married to the same man he liked what he saw he liked what he see now like I, like i'm not worried about it like one i feel like i'm fine i'm a fine ass woman and someone loves me like what what more can i say i'm loved i ain't tripping but, like, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was cool. I mean, she was cool. She was the one that was always calling me. She called, she called, you know, we were going for walks and stuff like that. I mean, she was cool. But, like, I didn't, you know, hey, I don't, I didn't know. But fool me once. Shame, feel, fool me once. Shame, shame on me. But fool me twice. You ain't going to be able to do it again. I mean, I said, no, I mean, fool you once. 
Shame on her. Fool me twice. That's shame on me. That's what I meant to say, y'all. I'm sorry. But you made money before him. I sure I did. I worked for the intelligence community. I'm a veteran. And um, I'm a disabled veteran at that. And I do well for myself. Like, I, it wasn't like I needed Gregory. Like, but I so appreciate his help. And finally, because I've been doing it all alone by myself. And when finally I got a partner, they come and say, baby, you ain't got to pay no bills or nothing. What y'all? Come on now. The house almost paid off. She got. <laughs> come on now. She's older than my mother. So it's just like, it's so weird to me. Like, I explained it. Like, I date. I dated Gregory, okay, I'm a woman, and he is now my husband, but also like i mean that that's that's different in that sense, like he was someone I was attracted to, he was someone that was so sweet and gentle with me like that like that was different, but like when it comes down to women, I don't date women, I don't date you know other women, and it like and they're my mom's age older than my mom. So it was just weird. And it's weird that she's being so childish. Like, but I'm going to rise above it. It's all good, baby. It's all good. How do I feel about Tepley saying that I'm going to leave Dr. G? She's just talking. Like, I don't even know why y'all listen. Like, she, it's like, it's like when the aunties want to gossip about they, they nieces and stuff like that at the barbecue. That's what she doing. She just want to gossip. Like, she ain't got nothing to do. Like, baby, go find you some business. Like... Me, me and my friend, me and my homegirls outside dancing and all that. And you over here with all the rest of the aunties drinking your sip of wine, sipping the wine and in the house just talking about us because you ain't got shit else to talk about. That's what it's given. Go ahead and fix you a plate and, 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 and turn on Real Housewives and get you some business. Don't worry about what I got going on. When sweet tea, Dr. Heavenly was asking to be the godmother. Why did you say it? At the same time. Yeah, she was talking about she want to be the guy mama and stuff. And then she just keep talking trash. It's like, girl, I would never allow you to be around my child. Okay? To subject to your craziness. I would never allow that. 